And welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. Today, my guest is the world's fastest reader, Howard Berg. And I just encourage you to realize that this is a guy that has a system, a system for creating tremendous results for others on reading, memory, and uh, retention, comprehension. I mean, Howard, what are some things that you would encourage people to do if they wanted to really increase their learning right now? Let me show you how to read faster. When you take a book you've read, preferably nonfiction, so the only thing confusing you is your speed, not the content of the book. So don't do quantum physics unless you're a physicist. Read for a minute, use a smartphone or a timer, read normal, see how far you get. Take a pencil, mark off in the margin where you finished. So you've done an assessment of how fast you can read in a minute. Now the secret, go to the second chapter and take your hand and move your eye one line at a time, one line at a time, as fast as you could comprehend, one line at a time, all the way across and do that until you don't know what you're reading. Go faster and faster till you find your limit and then slow down just enough so your comprehension comes back. And for five minutes, go one line at a time, eyes following your hand, as fast as you could comprehend. If you don't know what you're reading, it's too fast. And then go back to the first chapter. And again, use your hand for the minute. And you'll go 20 to 40% further than the first minute where you put the mark in the, in the book. It's that simple to start. And what's amazing is, is that your, your retention and comprehension is a little bit Initially, you're speeding up, but there's this chatter in the back of your head that's going, hey, what's going on? And I don't know. And, and danger, danger, Will Robinson, you could die from this. I mean, actually, that is the, the unconscious mind freaking out. And so how do we overcome that chatter that hinders you from retaining more, from processing information faster, and, uh, and to remember more of, you know, with anything? Speed reading the way it used to be taught didn't work. You would read fast or you couldn't read at all. There was no slow reading, you lost your speed. The guy who owned Evelyn Woods paid me to train his son how to speed read, Maurice Thompson Jr. Here's the secret, it's called schema. Schema is how you read and understand. I'm gonna give you a passage that has no schema. Watch how confusing it is. Then I'll give you a title and instantly it'll make sense. Schemaless text. This is an easy thing to do. If possible, you could do it at home but you could always go someplace else if it's necessary. Beware of overdoing it. This is a major mistake. It may cost you quite a bit of money. Makes no sense. Right. One word difference. Watch out instantly. It makes total sense. Laundry. Laundry. Ah, this is an easy thing to do. If possible, easy. you can do it at home. You could always go someplace else if it's necessary. Beware of overdoing it. This is a major mistake. It may cost you quite a bit of money. I'm teaching people not just mechanics to move their hand. The psychology, what I learned in college, how the brain processes the data. So they can slow down and learn new things and then they instantly go back to the top speed. In the past, if you went slowly, you lost your speed and you didn't comprehend at the high speed. By combining psychology with mechanics, we're getting results no one's gotten. And we did a double blind efficacy study with 100 random people. We used the Nelson Denny, a standardized test for speed and comprehension. 50 did A and B, 50 did B and A to make sure the second test didn't make them look smarter. And they did analysis of variance, a statistical tool. And You're everyone, losing us in data, dude. Well, hey, go ahead. Everyone doubled or quadrupled. Most doubled with the sync or better comprehension. And I didn't want to, I'm not disrespecting there. I'm just going, sometimes when, I know you're really, 80 pages a minute, you're really smart. And people are going, uh, uh, check out. And I go, the challenge that most of us have is that we we get into this, we start something new, and then what happens is is that the chatter begins to break down where what you're really trying to learn and and interferes with it. And what Howard's showing you is if you just begin the process of using a guide, that can begin to really you yes. push yourself. Yes. And then those speed drills are so critical. Now, I know that you have a, a really complete system now yes. that you have been teaching for a number of years, uh, and it teaches people how to um, read, remember, and uh, study. study, get in the state. EQ, suppose I teach you to drive, you're ready for your road test, you failed. Why? I got nervous. 
How many of our wa listeners or watchers have gotten nervous on an exam or speaking in public? So I'm not only teaching them reading skills, I'm teaching them emotional intelligence skills. I taught that to the Green Berets in the Royal Thai Army, how to stay centered and focused so the information you learn can be used even under stressful conditions. That, that is really awesome. And I know that if you go to that birdlearning.com forward slash, I call it forward slash, fast. That will give you some information about how to make sure that you're always accelerating in your learning and it's easy. That's the thing. It doesn't take a long time, a few hours and you're going to, you probably double your reading rate like that. I did. I went up a hundred percent on my reading rate first time through the material. And I think, wow. And then to take that from 360 words a minute, all the way over 1250 words a minute at 85% conference retention. Awesome. And I just wanted to encourage you, make sure that you get this stuff. We'll be right back. This is the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar.